Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Clint Hoagland and this is Creating Electronic Music with Chuck. In my last video, I explained why you might want to use Chuck. In this video, I'll show you where to get it and some other tools that I'll be using to help explain it. To get Chuck itself, direct your web browser to chuck.cs.princeton.edu and then click on Download Chuck. Then choose the installer for your operating system. This installer will install both the Chuck runtime on your machine, which you can access from the command line, and also the mini article application, which is an integrated development environment for Chuck. Once you've got Chuck installed, open up a command prompt or a terminal if you're on the Mac OS or Linux, and then put, use the term Chuck on the command line. If you haven't installed Chuck properly, then you'll see some sort of error message. But if you have installed it properly, you'll see something like this. Putting in Chuck dash dash help will give you your, your version number. My version number was 1.4.0.0. The next thing we're going to install is Audacity. Audacity is an open source audio editor, and we're going to use it to do things like look at the waveforms that we've created in Chuck, and also analyze the frequencies of the audio that we make in Chuck. Download it from audacityteam.org and choose your operating system. To show that Audacity has been installed properly, just go to it on your program files. Audacity is a big application that does a lot of things. We're not going to go into a lot of those things, but this is how you show that it's been installed properly. The last thing we're going to install is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a text editor for Windows, for Mac OS, and for Linux. So it works on all the platforms that Chuck works on. And I want to show you ways that you can use that instead of Mini Article to edit the text for Chuck and then to launch Chuck programs. We're not going to do that right away, but we will later on. There's some advantages of using code versus mini article, and there's also advantages for using mini article versus code. There's, they're good in different situations, and we'll explain what those different situations are when we come to it. By default, code installs itself on your path, which means that you can go to your command line and use it to type code.test.txt, and it should bring up a text editor that looks like this, and that means that code has been successfully installed. Okay, that's all you need to have installed to get started with Chuck. Uh, in the next video, we'll start writing some code.